Hello and welcome in today's session which is based on the topic flood. Flood is a cumulative atmospheric hazard. It is an environmental hazard which causes inundation on an extensive area with water for several days. It is caused by rainfall and it is aggravated by human activities. It occurs in irregular intervals, vary in size and also in duration. It is a natural event which occurs on a piece of land which is usually dry and suddenly gets submerged under water. It is a temporary overflow of a large amount of water beyond its normal limit, especially over dry areas. अर्थात बाढ़ एक संचयी वायुमंडलीय प्रकोप है जो विशेषतः तीव्र वर्षा के कारण उत्पन्न होता है ये मानवीय क्रियाओं के कारण अत्यंत विनाशकारी हो जाता है ये एक अस्थायी दशा है जिसमें कोई विशेष स्थान आकस्मिक रूप से अत्यधिक मात्रा में जल के कारण जलमग्न हो जाता है बाढ़ का अंतराल अवधि अनियमित होती है तथा इसका आकार भी असमान होता है एरियाज मोर लाइकली टू फ्लड जनरली द नेचुरल बिहेवियर ऑफ फ्लोइंग वाटर इज दैट इट मूव्स फ्रॉम हायर ग्राउंड टू लोअर ग्राउंड अर्थात उच्च भूमि से जल निम्न भूमि की ओर प्रवाहित होता है सो द लोअर एरियाज यानी निम्न भूमि एक्सपीरियंस अ सीवियर फ्लड विच इज क्लियरली विजिबल इन द फिगर नाउ द टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लड फ्लड कैन बी डिवाइडेड ऑन टू बेसिस फर्स्टली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नेचर प्रकृति के आधार पर सेकेंडली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ड्यूरेशन अवधि के आधार पर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नेचर फ्लड इज ऑफ मेनली सेवन टाइप्स फर्स्ट फ्लड कॉज बाय रेन दे आर कॉज बाय हैवी रेन इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सेकेंड रिवर ओवरफ्लो इट इज कॉज वेन देर इज मोर वॉटर इन अप स्ट्रीम then unusual which flows downstream as a result causes flood third urban flood it is caused when heavy rain occurs more than approximately 250 mm within 24 hours and water is logged due to drainage logging for example recent floods in mumbai then coastal flood it is caused when sea water is carried by winds and hurricanes due to dry coastal lands fifth dam failure sometimes high pressure of water causes rupture of dams and levees arthat tadban as a result flood occurs sixth ice and snow melt in cold regions when due to temperature rise snow melts which causes massive movement of water into places usually dry as a result flood is caused and lastly overland flooding it occurs when rainfall or snow melt exceeds the capacity of underground pipes or the capacity of streets and drains to carry flood water away in urban areas as a result flood is caused now the second basis that is on the basis of duration it is divided into three categories first slow onset flood this type of flood spreads over many kilometer as it lasts for longer period of time say for a one week or more than weeks second rapid onset flood it is caused for short time period 
caused within two days and causes much damage. Third, flash flood. It occurs within minutes or few hours and it can be caused by cloud bursts, landslide and dam failures and the damage caused by it is the severest. Now the distribution of flood in world and in India. Distribution in world. New analysis shows that approximately 21 million people worldwide are affected by river floods each year on an average. This number could increase to 54 million in 2030 due to climate change and socio-economic development. Around 15 countries in the world are most affected through flood which affects nearly 80% of the total population every year. That is India, Bangladesh, China, Vietnam, Pakistan, Indonesia, Egypt, Myanmar, Afghanistan, Nigeria, Brazil, Thailand, Democratic Republic of Congo, Iraq and Cambodia. Now scenario in India. India's agriculture returns, economy, society, polity, planning, river ecosystem and ecology all are affected by flood. Approximately 50 million hectares of country are affected every year. Manjuli Island in Brahmaputra Assam is the largest riverine island in India. And you may be surprised to know that it is the best example of good paddy crop after annual flood in Brahmaputra. Now the major flood affected regions in India. The major areas affected by flood in India are Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Punjab, Rajasthan, Assam, West Bengal, Haryana, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat and Kerala. Flood affected regions in Uttar Pradesh. Every year approximately 25 districts are most affected by floods which are shown below in the map of Uttar Pradesh. In the present map, we can easily see Uttar Pradesh rivers in spate danger marks and its present level in 2019. Now the causes of flood. Flood is a recurring phenomena in the world in India every year. About 60% of flood damage occurs due to flood every year. The main causes of flood can be divided into four categories, natural, anthropogenic, institutional and socio-political. First, we will discuss about the natural causes. Natural causes includes heavy rainfall, tropical storms and hurricane, soil erosion, meandering of the rivers, flat topography, high tidal waves, landslides and cloud bursts, debris flows and sedimentation, and river channel migration. Now the second cause, that is anthropogenic causes. Blockages of drainage system or natural flow of water, deforestation, increased urbanization, levees and dams, faulty agricultural practices, poor planning, design and faulty construction practices of road, annual deposition of silt, poor drainage and congestion, new improper developments and massive increase of settlements. Now the third cause that is institutional. 
which is caused by lack of participatory approach in disaster management and lack of long term comprehensive flood management last socio political causes which includes lack of public sensitivity and awareness and attitude of people and culture of negligence now the impacts of flood flood causes both advantages and disadvantages firstly we will discuss about the advantages that is recharging ground water level soil of flood plain is renewed enriches the soil and makes soil fertile sedimentation replenishes the top soil and also increases the nutrients enriches biodiversity of fresh water beneficial for fishes maintain soil moisture and facilitates crop farming now the disadvantages the most kind the most common kind of loss during flood areas is as follows lack of drinking water lack of food destruction of settlement damage to agriculture damage to power transmission damage to road and transport infrastructure severe water contamination increase in pollution and release of toxic material lack of utilities impact on health and sanitation increase in infectious diseases like fever pneumonia plague dysentery common cold and malaria loss of life and property and casualties loss of livelihoods economic hardship decrease purchasing and production power mass migration psychological effects hindrances in economic growth and development and also political implications now the flood management human cannot stop rain nor surface flow they are natural events so it is important to ensure certain actions so as to reduce disadvantages caused by flood which can be divided into three categories pre disaster management during disaster management and post disaster management firstly we will discuss about pre disaster management the first thing is the alert you may be surprised that central water commission uses color code system to alert local people in case of emergency yani central water commission color codes ke dwara logo ko savdhan karte hain there are three colors the first one is yellow color alert when water is in a river is above normal flood level or between the warning and danger level yellow color alert is shown second orange color alert when river is in severe flood or level is between the danger and highest flood level the third is a red color alert that is when the water breaches the highest flood level there are 700 flood forecasting stations located across the country defining warning level danger level or highest flood level the second comes delay of runoff by afforestation reforestation and reduce soil erosion third hasten the discharge of river water reduce volume of water keep the drainage system clean general clean up of streets rain water harvesting desilting inspection and repair of dams levees and embankments town planning afforestation flood plain zoning retrofitting mapping monitoring mitigation and management 
disaster research and education, emergency support system, use of remote sensing and GIS techniques, preparedness, mock drills and follow legal measures. Now during disaster management, it includes rescue, relief work, flood recovery, rehabilitation, always be alert, monitoring of the surrounding, monitor the radio, local television and local announcement, take shelter in temporary houses, provide ready-made packets of food, drinking water, clothes, medicine, remove garbage and dead bodies, don't drive or drive and travel with care, evacuate immediately if necessary, never try to walk or swim through flowing water and lastly shut off the electricity. Now post disaster management, wait until it is safe to return. If a building was flooded, check for safety before entering, get professional help, repair your property for future flood damage. Hence, it is well evident that the impact of flood is widespread. So it is important to manage and carry out above mentioned actions and support educational campaigns to prevent losses caused by flood. Raha Sangarsh ki jo chalta hai, Raha Sangarsh ki jo chalta hai, wo hi sansar ko badalta hai, jisne rato se jang jiti hai, subha sure bankar wahi chamakta hai. With this, we come to the end of today's session. Thanks for watching the video. For any other further queries, kindly mention in the comment box. I hope you like the video. Kindly do like, share, subscribe the video. And also do not forget to press the bell button for further notification of the channel. Thank you.